Now that we have a decent idea of what a cyclic quadrilateral is, let's practice it a bit in this video. So this first ship shape that you can see, would you say that that is a cyclic quadrilateral? Well, well done if you said no. The reason is, is that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral should always add up to 180. However, those two add up to 170. What that means is that this four-sided shape would not fit into a circle. And what about this shape over here? Well, you can't say that this is a cyclic quadrilateral because these are the same. What we saw in the previous video was that for, a cycl for something to be a cyclic quadrilateral, this angle, the exterior angle, should equal the interior opposite angle. Now, we don't know for sure. I mean, that angle over there that angle B, it may actually be 110, but with the information provided to us, we cannot say that that is definitely a cyclic quadrilateral, because if it has, for it to be a cyclic quadrilateral, the exterior angle must be the same as the interior opposite angle, which would be B. Now this shape over here is a cyclic quadrilateral, due to the fact that the opposite angles, B and A, add up to 180. So this shape would fit perfectly inside a circle. I know it may not look that way, but remember this shape is not drawn according to scale. Now this is an interesting one. So we can't really tell by looking at the angles. Well, we can't tell if they add up to 180 and there's no exterior angles. However, this is a cyclic quadrilateral because of the following. If it was inside a circle, well, we know that there's a circle property that says that Angles in the bow tie are equal. So let's look at that carefully. Let's start off at angle B and work our way backwards to see which letters formed B. So I'm going to go back along this line over here and that takes me to D. And then I'm going to go back along this line over here and that will take me to C. Now what I'm going to do is use D and C and see if I can form this 70 degrees. We'll look over there and then if I go with C it also forms 70 degrees. And so those two 70 degrees came from the same letters, D and C, and that and that those two angles are equal. Now that property only happens when you are inside a circle. And so because that property is working out, it means that this is actually a cyclic quadrilateral, which means that it can fit inside a circle. And in previous videos, whenever we use this theorem, we would always say it's due to angles in the same segment. So if you are trying to prove that something is a cyclic quadrilateral and you see the bow tie kind of shape forming, then you should always think about using this angles in the same segment in reverse. So they'll give you the two angles, the 70 and the 70, and then you need to try see whether those two angles come from the same point, such as D and C, and because of that we could say it's a cyclic quadrilateral. And then lastly, is this a cyclic quadrilateral? Well remember, we don't even have to prove if the angles add up to 180, the opposite angles, or exterior angles. We know that a shape that can fit perfectly inside a circle at each of its four corners is automatically a cyclic quadrilateral.